thinking about right now is Mitt. Mitt. That's my total focus is Mitt and, I, yeah. and, and getting my kids ready for school <laughs> this week and getting school supplies. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we're just so excited about where, the, where his campaign's going and the change that he's going to bring to this country and the enthusiasm we see. And we just want to do everything we can to help. So I'm not thinking about me right now. I'm excited to be a national delegate and go to the convention and cast a vote for him. What a great opportunity. And this is really for Rana, and really for me, because I really haven't been involved in politics in quite a while. We really made a decision to get in there and work for Mitt. She has two little children. She, is, she has a real life, and she has to add this to a very busy life. But we made a decision that it is absolutely worth it. Uh, this is Miss Mitt's state. This is his home state. This is Anne's home state. And this is the state that we want to see put mid over. And, and we are working very, very hard to make that happen. Yeah. I think if he wins Michigan, it changes the whole game. I think Obama has to win Michigan. And I think if Mitt can bring this state into his um, column and the electoral votes, he will win the presidency. And I fully expect that to happen, by the way. I fully expect that to happen. I think you're going to see uh, women uh, throughout Michigan, once again, whose husbands don't have a job, who might have lost their own jobs, who are taking care of parents on their own, who see the price that we have paid as a nation with the loss of jobs. Yeah. Women know that the economic engine of this, this nation has to be restarted, and they have lost faith, lost hope that the person who currently occupies the White House can do it. And now they really are going to look for change. And they're going to find somebody who actually can do the job, and that's Mitt. And we see it everywhere, everywhere. No doubt in my mind. When you look at Mitt the man, it is good to look at the family he came from and their values, their work ethic, their love for their country, their humble beginnings. All of those things become part of the fabric of Mitt and Ann's lives, too. And so we, when we look, when somebody looks at Mitt Romney, they say, there's a successful businessman who's running. When we look at Mitt Romney, we remember the history uh, and coming from a coal mining fam family. And you know the story where her father came from such a poor family in Wales that the family got together and decided who would be the one who should go to college. And they supported Anne's father. And he went to college, became very successful, and he helped his whole family. And those are the shoulders that we all stand on. And that I think we see the lineage when we look. Yeah. I don't think he's running, and he has said no. this many times, he is not running as pastor-in-chief. He is running as commander-in-chief. And, and uh, you saw how he governed in Massachusetts. He really, he kept it very clear that he was the governor of the state and, um, and his religious beliefs were personal. So I think that um, the thing that he will bring is respect for all people, for all faiths. Um, he has shown that in his, in his career in the, in the public sector that he has a profound respect for everybody from every different faith and um, he'll continue to champion that as president. The only, the only thing that becomes clear is there's a true separation of church and state. And we don't look at Harry Reid, we didn't look at Orrin Hatch, you don't look at various people and define them by their religion. These people are here because they want to do what's right for their country. Yeah. And you follow the Constitution, period. I have hope for the country that Me things too. will change. <laughs> the analogy I always use is I don't, I'm a soccer mom when I talk to my friends. I don't know if any of you are soccer, go to soccer games, but my kids are really. And there's times when, when they're younger, you get these soccer players, and they start going towards the wrong goal. And they score in the other goal. And they think they're so, they're so excited they think they've scored a goal. And I go, that's Obama. That's what he thinks. He's <laughs> taking our country in the wrong direction, and he thinks he scored a goal. And, uh, and Mitt's going to turn it around and win for the team. And, and that's how I feel as a mom. That's my soccer mom analogy. You Do know. you feel that it resonates when you talk to someone? Oh, when I talk to other, other moms in my, in my area, they get it. Because we see it. We see the houses foreclosing. We see our friends leaving the state. We the, see the pain in families. We see it the at the empty, school. The empty stores, the long grass on a house. You yeah. just know. It's, it's around us everywhere. Yeah. We see it at the school when I'm a room mom, and I see the kids whose parents can't donate to the class party because it's too much of a stretch. It's really, it's there, and it's palpable. And I feel like we all feel like we had a president who got in, and he didn't take the initiative to solve the problem when he could have. And now it's just too late, and we need to switch. Well, he wasn't able to. Do it. We 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 expected but he, he too much for somebody. He didn't make who... a priority. 
he took his eye off the ball and he said he focused on other things and we're still hurting because of that. Well, you see, I think we elected somebody who didn't know what to do. Yeah. So. <laughs> but it does resonate. He didn't know what he didn't know. Yeah.